Hello, I'm 697 and welcome to episode 2 of my new series called Web Dreamweaver Website Building. And in this episode I'll be showing you how to create the website inside the Dreamweaver where we put all our files and web pages inside. Before we create the website inside of Dreamweaver, we're going to create the web host. And now this can be done with whatever website you want to do it with, but I'm doing it with Zimic web host because it's free and it's pretty quick and very good. And basically what you're going to do is create an account and then you want to come to the control panel home and click create new web host account. And once you create it, it should come up here. So I've got website awesome.zimicoast.com. And by the way, in my introduction, you could have seen .com mule. Well, I've decided to use this web host, but nothing's really changed besides the name. Anyway, after that, you want to click login, and it takes you to this control panel. So now you know that the web host has been created. Now we're going to find out what our FTP details are. Now these are details that you type in, or you can type into a third-party software to connect to your web host as opposed to using the file manager inside. So in this case our third party thingy is Dreamweaver. So what, where I found it, if I just zoom in here, is along the side here. So it says here FTP. And then the three things you need to know. The first thing is host, which is this, which is your website name. The second thing is the user, which you might designate, but I, I've been given one here. And then the third thing you need to know is a password. And this password is the password you use to log into this actual web host. Besides that, you won't need to know anything else for FTP because the port will be automatically chosen. But now you know what your FTP details are. Now I'm going to show you how to create this site inside of Dreamweaver. Now there are different ways of creating it, but I'm just going to show you one of those. And what you're going to do is go to, um, when you open the, on the main menu, you want to go to Site at the top and click New Site. And then this box should open. Now the only two tabs you need to worry about along the side is Site and Servers. So first thing we're going to do Site. So first we're going to designate the site name. So I'm just going to call it Website of Awesome. So this is a name that will appear over here. And then the second thing is a local site folder. So we're going to click, click Folder. Find somewhere to put it on. So I'll put it Computer, Local Disk. And here I'm just going to create a folder called, if it loads, Website of Awesome. And then click Open. I mean not open, sorry, just click it and then click open and then select. Now you've selected our folder. Now this is a local site folder, so whatever files go in there will be like all the files up here in this files pane here. And then if we click upload site to the server, then it will load everything from here. Now we're going to add the server we just created, the web host, onto our website. So uh, first we're going to go into servers and click this plus button at the bottom. And now we're going to call the server name, so I'm going to call it Simic Host Connection using FTP. And our FTP address was our host. So we're going to copy this host and paste it. Username was the username we had here. So I'll copy and paste that. And then the password was the password I had from the web host. So I'm just going to type that in. And now we're going to click test to see if this works. And it just does this, and it says Dreamer connected to your web server successfully. So now we have our uh, server connected. So if you click save, we can see that our server has been attached to this site. And now, after we've done that, we click save at the bottom. Uh, it should appear in the bottom um, pane where it says files. If you don't have this, go to window and files. And basically, it opens your site. So this site says here, see website of awesome. So this website. All its files will go inside that folder on our computer. And if you click this little drop down menu, you can select between different sites. And so if you click manage sites, you can see I've got three different sites on this on Dreamweaver, so we can have duplicate at the same time and we can just switch between them on here. But yeah, that's and that's basically our site completely connected. If you want to see if your web host is actually connected, you can see you can open your website on the files bit. And then when it says local view, you can click that and go to remote server. It says it's connecting to website of awesome, which was our server name. Uh, wait for it to connect. And it opens these. You might have some files. And basically, these files you just want to remove because that's like a, a index um, that comes with it. And this FTP quote I don't think can go. But besides that, we have our site completely 
up and running and completely connected to our server. Thanks for watching yet another video by me. Please like it if it helped. Comment on it if you've got any more questions. Subscribe to my channel if you want to have updates of all my next videos in this series and my other series called Minecraft Complete Modern Guide. And also, please look at my Facebook page and my Twitter page as I got trying to go through more followers and more people liking my page or whatever you do on Facebook. I haven't been on it in ages. But yeah, thanks for watching.